Hello everyone, Sir Monkey Sir Zappy here back again with Hunter Hunter. We are on episode 58, and in the last episode, we had Kurapita snag Krolo um, <laughs> out of uh, the hotel uh, reception area when uh, Leorio had the whole um, place go down uh, in darkness. Uh, so yeah, that was a distraction that he needed. He just needed a split second, and he got it. Um, so yeah, that's big. That's huge. Um, and because of that, even though Gon and Killua are still hostages at this moment, um, it means that there is a possibility for um, for Kurapika to sort of uh, sort of worm his way around, maybe try and bargain, but then try and play them for fools. Um, you know, because I, I don't see how Kurapika is going to let him like let Krolo go. Like, I mean, he he would do it, you know, for Gone and Killua, obviously. But um, but yeah, he's anyway. It doesn't matter. He's gotten Pakanoda to uh, agree to meet with him on her own. Um, and right now, Kurapika has like he's holding all the cards, even though Krolo thinks that that's not the case. Um, but I mean, we're just going to have to see exactly how this all transpires um because you know some of the phantom troop are willing to honor his wishes and you know let him die whereas you know there are others who you know don't want him to die um so yeah i mean we're just gonna have to see what what happens but uh, i don't think there's anything else to really talk about we're just gonna get in episode 58 and see what we get so without further ado let's go Okay, well, <laughs> that was crazy. God's sake. I mean, I feel like I, th Ugh. I say this so many episodes, but like, I, I just didn't expect it to go that way at all. I was expecting, oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, oh, oh man, I don't know. It's so bittersweet because I'm like, I don't want to be disappointed. Like, I'm like, I... this must be like something like, like specifically what people mean when they're like, um, Hunter Hunter isn't like any other shonen. Like any other shonen would have been like, this whole arc would still be going on and we would be having one-on-one -on -one fights with each and every member. <laughs> but in this one, two of them died and that was it. <laughs> and then we're done. And they're kind of like on, not on the same wavelength, but at least like sort of at peace with what has occurred. And they're kind of just like, okay, this is it. That's it. You know what I mean? We can't really have any dealings with each other anymore because they can't go kill a chain user. They can't go kill Kurapika because talking about residual Nen and stuff, that's interesting. It's interesting that Phaetan didn't want that to be said. Or he was thinking that that was a bit like was too much. Because why would he care if they know about residual Nen and stuff? But it's, it's interesting that left behind, Nen sort of has a will of its own. Um, or doesn't really have a will of its own, more or less it continues on the will of the person who it was attached to when it died. So the reason, the thing is, is that logically one would might think that if you were to kill Kurapika, then the, 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 the sort of law or whatever would be, um, it would like be discontinued and it wouldn't work anymore, it would disappear. Whereas in reality, what Finks is saying is that if, you know, because of the will of uh, Kurapika on that particular condition, if he were to die, the Sword of Law would just kill him anyway. Um, as a sort of, like, eventful act or something. But, yeah, so that's interesting. Um, so, yeah, Pakanoda is dead. I, I wasn't sure if doing the memory bullet thing would be a loophole and a way to get out of it and she would be fine, but... You know, she she gave it up. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think Pak Noda was out of the the bunch of them. I mean, so she seemed like the reasonable one, anyway. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, and she was quite nice. Um, so yeah, that that's a shame. Um, And it makes me wonder if she did it and she'd give them the memories to get them to this point. Like, she would be happy with what with what they have at this point. Because, at the end of the day, only Uvo died from malice. Pakanoda died because she wanted to. Um, 
because by doing so, it meant that the rest of the Phantom Troop, like 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 Finks and Phaeton and everyone that was thinking of going on, a, like you know, a, a revenge mission, because Krolo didn't show up, they had to think he was he was dead. Um, by giving them those memories, it means that they're on the same wavelength as what she was thinking now, you know. And by doing so, it means that she dies, but the rest of them will be safe because they wouldn't pursue it, you know. And Kurapika get, you know, gets a fever, and it makes it. I'm just interested to see what Kurapika does after the, like after this, you know, because they're talking about it. And it's like going on to the Greed Island arc, which. I t <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if. If Kurapika's, like, if he is truly quenched of revenge against the Phantom Troop, I really don't. I really don't. Illumi must have gotten out of there as well. Um, he must have. Hisoka must have sent a message to Illumi and told him to get out of there. Because once those memories went into, you know, were shot into the other members, they would know that um, they would be aware that Hisoka is, uh, you know, wasn't, a, he's a traitor now. Um, I was going to write down Hisoka basically did that all for nothing, but then he said, you know, he basically gave himself up. He's now a traitor, obviously. Um, and he gave himself up all for nothing because he couldn't use Nen. But then, obviously, it, he talked about it that like there's no use me being here anyway the only reason i was here was to try and fight Krolo, and if he can't use Nen anymore it's pointless um just a dead toy <laughs> she's like he thinks of it as a toy that would have been cool man and like oh damn you see that's almost like a i don't know it does no does anybody else i, I, I want to know does anybody else feel like it is a waste having that on Krolo now. Because Krolo is essentially useless now. I mean, I guess he can still, like, lead the Phantom Troop, I suppose. So so he is, he's, he's the head of the thing, but he doesn't have any real power anymore. Um... Fucking hell. I mean, that's crazy. Like, I can imagine, like, in this show, like, something similar to, you know, like, some people would say it's a fate worse than death. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, have, have, like having Nen but being un unable to use it. I don't know. Maybe it could get, maybe it could open up something for some, like, for something further down the road where Krolo could save, like, he, 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 if, he uses his Nen, he can save somebody, but obviously by doing so, it kills him. Maybe that could open it up, but just for the straight fact of, like, he can steal people's powers and use them. You know what I mean? Like, that, it's just potential that we also have Silvar and him who had that fucking face off and they haven't really, you know resolved it yet i just think i don't know there, there was possibilities for Krolo more th than than there is now <laughs> and it's a bit gutting to say the least i mean at least we've got to like see it in action like see him in action a bit but fuck am i gutted about it yeah i don't know if i don't know what kirby is going to be like when he gets out of this fever and, and figures out exactly what happens and also we don't know what this plan is of fucking getting the Greed Island thing. They didn't even mention it. So that's going to be revealed later on. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, the interesting thing as well is uh, Hisoka pointing out the fact that, like, you know, the real fortune that he had didn't have this in it. Um, and it wasn't supposed to go like this, so fate can be changed depend on certain things and that maybe it is just a case of knowing them in, in advance and then just doing something different you know what I mean um, so yeah 
<laughs> Fucking Ahsoka's face when he was told. Jesus. I mean, that is a big cock block, that, in it? I mean, that is just... I mean, that's just, like, masturbating the climax and then, and then stopping, really, innit? I was so excited for a fight, and we didn't get it. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Ugh, I mean, I know it's not all about the action, but god damn it, fucking, it's nice to have it. It's nice to have it every once in a while. I, I, I haven't had it since Uvo. <laughs> I just want it. Just want it. Um, uh, yeah, I think what really, like, turned them, turned the Phantom Troop sort of over and uh, to basically be at peace with what has occurred and just deal with it was um, was uh, not just the memories of what Pakanoda and everything that occurred there but also well it's nice I mean the, the whole thing of things saying that um, you know Paku wanted to thank you is great because it didn't come from her mouth but it came from her memories of wanting to say it which is it's nice so it, it's transferred anyway which is great so uh, that's basically it's interesting that the memories there are, are are passed on of also like the like feelings of the person as well and the emotions which is nice um that's cool but uh, yeah but not just the memories but also the like what franklin had had said where he was talking about how you know if you're not if you're not if you're just going to go by yourself um whilst at odds with other people in the phantom troop then you're essentially you know breaking up the phantom troop and it's not a cohesive unit anymore meaning that you know by doing that even though you're thinking you're doing the right thing you're actually cause like it's, it's more of a disgrace and it's more of a betrayal to the phantom troop that you would so um so yeah that was a, a nice like sort of speech he gave there um and yeah and fuck i mean that, that's another thing as well like nobunaga like after he chopped off fucking squall's head and then got memory bullets from Pakanoda about who Kurapika was and then he was on this fucking like you know Nobunaga was on this pure revenge mission he's like he like had his target and he was going to go after him and then and then I, I guess we're stopping that now as well <laughs> like I don't know I, I, I mean there's still like just under 100 episodes left I suppose there could be time for for them to come back I suppose it could come back and again like I said I don't know what Kurapika's going to be like if he wants to pursue it again or not I don't know but um, but yeah I mean, I mean I guess it's just something we'd just have to wait and see uh, but yeah I, I didn't I wasn't expecting it to go this way and I'm, I feel very hard done by because of it <laughs> I mean I'm surprised don't get me wrong like you know I it's it's a very interesting way to go about something Um you know, and I mean, I guess it does kind of break it up a bit because I feel like we have been on like with the Phantom Troop like sort of arc for quite a while now. Um, but you know, I when I, what I've been saying the past few episodes is like, you know, this is great, and and each episode keeps getting more interesting and better, and I can't wait to see how this all resolves. And I feel like it's kind of been cut short, very like just cut very short i suppose it had to get into the greed island thing eventually because like you know it had to do it rather quickly or rather soon because it, it can only be get like it, it can only be acquired via the auction and the the auctions obviously be, felt it's felt like it's been going on for ages <laughs> so i guess at some point they have to do it i just figured like the greed island arc would be a thing that was like they would acquire the greed island and the game and then resolve the fan the phantom troop thing and then they would go in the Greed Island, you know? Even though they, they had acquired it, I I felt like it would have been a case of Gon and Killua had stayed, you know, stayed back from going to find his father to help with Kurapika. I thought that's what was going to be the case, and apparently it isn't. So, I, I don't know. I mean, I do feel very hard done by. Let me know, you guys, what you guys feel about it, because, you know what I mean? Like, it, to me, it, it, it's... Again, it is interesting the way that it did resolve... And it is definitely unexpected, um, you know what I mean. And and there is like sort of like a nice sort of feeling about the whole thing with Pakanoda and how in like the last couple of episodes she kind of we kind of got a look at her personality in a way, and like she was very 
considerate, I think. And like I said before, she was like, out of all of them, I would probably say she was like one of the most reasonable ones. So it was sort of nice to get like her thing. And then she, you know, one of the last things she said was look at a cat and go meow. I mean, I don't really like cats, but it was nice anyway, regardless. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that's that's all I've got. So, so yeah, I mean, that is that. I, I hope they come back into the story at some point because I just feel like there's stuff there that, that is so unresolved it can't end so I hope it does come back but yeah I'm just repeating myself now so that's all I've got so thank you for watching in the description below I think certain things one of them is the discord if you want any information regarding my content you can get yourself over there I also have uh, a patreon as well so if you do want to support me on patreon that'd be very much appreciated there is a bunch of different tiers and rewards depending on how much you want to support me with so there's the early access tier five dollars a month gives you access to shows a week early and you get four episodes of hunter hunter every week as opposed to the usual two that the general public get and um, so by the time this is out on youtube for the general public if you go and get the early access tier right now you'll probably have access to about 50 episodes in the future i'll probably be over 100 by that point so you'll have a lot uh, of stuff to look uh, a lot of you know content to to watch uh, but yeah, there's full length there as well, and there's also other tiers where you can pay to get a show watched as well, so if you want that, then be my guest. But that's all I've got, so thank you for watching, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.